Alright, we're heading back in to fight for our right to party against the mage. The master. The master of magery. Uh, I've no idea how this enemy works. I've noticed it is extremely fast. That is basically all I have to go on right now. It is scroll wheel up to get to the crater of might. We will just continue to do this until we don't have any uh, HP left. They only took three shots of the Wraith Verge, so we can do this quite easily. Very interesting indeed. Uh, I'll step through here because it's easier to press this one. I bounced off the wall. That's very entertaining. Excuse me. Let's go. Right, so we just need to avoid its... his... shots. Oh, I'm wondering if I stepped over a side there. Yes, that was actually very easy. We just had to stay alive. Okay, save it. It only took me about, you know, four minutes to actually get back to this position. Uh, so these are going up and down permanently now. I guess there's nothing else in this level. I don't know whether there is a secret level um, on this hub. I assume there is, because that would be consistent and slightly pesky. But uh, at the same time, I'm going to guess... Oh, do you know what? I bet we have to pick something up, and I bet we didn't. So I'm going to go back, because if there's three of them, it's almost certain that I have to collect something from where he died. I didn't check. There's nothing. That's interesting. I um, Basically, I'm here because I assumed, like a fool, there it is. There was a thing to pick up. Sigil of the Magus. Magus, Magus. Signal of the Magus. Nazgul of the Signals. I'm going to keep using this because uh, I can. Recall there's a thing over here, so I'm going to go to this. Basically, while I have Craters of Might, and whilst this level has these enemies in it, I'm going to be using the Craters of Might. Including on these bastards. So there we go. That was extremely satisfying. Oh my god, hello. Thanks for joining us. I am not buying what you're selling. Oh, fuck. More, 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 more. Just keep the walking fight. Fuck. Help. Oh god. This is all going horribly wrong. It's a good thing I have these, uh modern gaming tactics, but at the same time, they are slightly, uh, like, crippled by the fact that this game does not work like modern games work. These things are all circular, and they don't have, they don't face you properly. You can't tell which way they're pointing. And why are you not dying? Are you immune to fire? It would surprise me if you had a massive amount of fire immunity, and basically no immunity to whatever the hell this is made of. Well, we survived it, so there's that. Uh... Luckily, there's a bit more mana, but I'm going through so much. We can't afford to keep using this much mana. We are in ZX Tomb, which I assume is a cleric based on the colour of it. Who even knows what it is? The fact is, they have massively ramped up the difficulty of this game as we go through it by making shots basically kill you. We did pick up a, a helmet. I don't know if you noticed. AC is two. Well, that's nice. It was more, but we got hit several times since picking up said helmet. What was that? Fudge it! Please. I have no recourse in this situation. Run away! <laughs> Coward! Boom! I mean, the difficulty I'm finding here, and obviously I am finding it difficult, but that's not quite what I meant. More of the, the cognitive difficulty I'm finding here, uh, is that these things are quite clearly, like, they're not designed for the uh, cleric to be, right? So much sounds like a full set. Which we do have, actually. We should probably start using them. If these things actually want to come in this direction, that'd be super handy. Um, the cleric has a limited range, especially on this weapon. It has a limited amount of 
uh, like, mana efficiency. Like, shot for shot, yeah, mana right. sucks on this character. Um, that was pretty cool, by the way. Don't know if you noticed how these things moved out of the way and then the ceiling fell in and crushed everything inside it. This would have been me if I hadn't been paying attention. But basically, the only recourse we really have for most of the things that we're trying to do is Wraith Flash. Because everything else is just so damn annoying to try and kill. I mean, look at this. Every single hit that we make on these things basically causes them to put their shield on. Which means we have to fire, wait, fire, wait. And it's such a weak weapon. And it's such high risk that it hits us back. I mean, you can understand why the fighter is such a, a well-liked character. And it's because, sure, you, you use mana if you try and hit those things with their shields up. I love the effects in this room, by the way. It's really cool. Considering the engine that they were using when they made this happen. Absolutely. It's... The thing that gets me, <laughs> there's lots of things that get me. I mean, I, I have to remember that this is 1995, so we're not really talking about the most accomplished, I guess. Um, hard level design. Now, like I was saying in the last episode, we've come a long way since this thing, and we were doing a lot of experimentation at this time. Um, and level design was very non-subtle. Like we didn't have. Hmm. Now I know. That... Okay. This button. Stuff happens. Because I'm pretty sure those spin. I don't know which. Hmm. It's open anyway. No. Uh, at the time, level design was kind of non-subtle. Like I was saying in the last episode, um, you didn't really have to sort of try too hard to get people to realise what you're trying to do. Um, we had fire, ice, earth, and water. In the, in the last thing, and it was a, a very clear... The puzzles were not really puzzles at all, you know. You had to press the thing that looked the same as the room that you were in, and you had to press the thing that looked the same as the thing on the... Look, Hangouts, I don't... I forgot to turn Hangouts off between episodes. My apologies, but also get over it. Um, now my phone has decided to tell me about the same message. If I ask my phone what the message was and focus it, then Hangouts will stop making noises. That so much sounds like a flashette bouncing around. I'm scared of it. Oh, it's going to take forever. So this is where you think, you know, think I might as well just use Wraith Verge, right? But, oh, so much waste. Plus, we only have 10 green mana. Standing on the wall. In the last episode, I was, I was saying, we had four puzzle rooms where the puzzle was press the symbol in the middle. Which I failed at to begin with, to be fair, but some part of my brain had told me that the four symbols in the middle were different, but in fact, all four sides of the pedals were identical. Um, this is obviously going to do something when I press this, so I'm going to use my mouse tactics to fucking leg it. <laughs> oh god, help. Um, but it kind of is a bit at odds with the use of light and shadow here on this room. That it makes such an atmospheric effect. In the previous room, there was so little atmosphere. The previous episode, um, Menelkir's tomb had so little atmosphere. Um, it feels like it was almost made by an intern. Do you know what I mean? Because they went, you know, yeah, I can make earth, air, fire, and water themed chambers, and you know, they said just make them circular, and we'll draw the textures, and we'll. You know, we'll write the scripts, you just make the rings, right? And there was very little use of light and shadow, there was very little use of... I mean... It didn't show very much imagination. And I think that's fair to say, even in 1995... I can't get behind these things, I believe. Oh! If I can get behind these things, I think I can use that to my advantage. Uh, yeah, even in 1995, that was unimaginative. <laughs> I don't think that's a fair thing to say. 
wouldn't have asked for a, a bit of better timing for my mana there. Oh, what? Oh, shit! I scrolled to my flacette at some arbitrary point in the, in the past. But that was great use of a flacette, so I'm okay with it. Okay, have another one. I hate the noises. Just die. They've still got their shields up technically even when they're flinching from the shell. The fact that that didn't kill him just goes to show how the the power balance between like the fighter and the cleric is. It's just there's no contest really. You know, you've got the cleric can't even kill one of these things with a shell. Whereas the fighter, I was saying, the fighter sure you use mana when you hit it uh, with the shield up. Gosh darn it. But, um, with your axe, but not if you hit it with your hammer. Whereas this character, you cannot avoid using mana, and even then, it's like a bad idea to even try. So I can't get around this, but it's gone. That is even more of the bastard. Here we go. go. This makes me. Come this way. And again, you can use Wraith Verge to get through these rooms really easily. And honestly, it might be a bit more minor efficient, especially since you consider how many times I've actually fired at these things when they had their shields up. Or, like, missed one of the two shots. At least these are just centaurs. It wouldn't be so bad if they. if, if these shots hit harder. They really don't. It's very frustrating. I mean, Damien was saying that if you... Uh, very early on in this series, actually. If you use the... Uh... Look, he's got his shield up, but he's flinching. I don't understand it. That should at least let you shoot it, right? In a modern game, you would expect that to be the case. Um, and possibly we've learned a little bit more about computer games since then. And as a society, that would be possible, you know, if the shield's literally not up. Um... We have much more ability to model the world these days, you know, we're not trying to save bits and bytes, we're not writing everything in C, well, you're writing everything in C, in fact, we're using C++, but you know what I'm saying, we're, we're not, um, we're not still stuck in that mentality where we have to make these things run on everybody's machine, which, I mean, we still have, but everyone's machine is so much more powerful, and if you don't have a graphics card, you're not playing the game, it's as simple as that. Um, whereas back in 1995, like, these these centaurs were either shield up or shield down, and that's it. You know, it's not like we could model shield up but flinching, or you know, apparently it's shield up even from behind. I finally cleared this bullshit place out, and we barely made more on our economy. Oh no! I mean, our mana economy here. Um, we've hardly got much more mana than we started. It seems like there's no way of just preventing them from flinching to give yourself at least a little bit of a chance of getting through these levels without just wasting everyone's time waffling on about everything in the world. I'd much rather use... I bet you can get through there, actually. I'd much rather use um, the fighter because you could just whack him with your hammer until the shield goes down again. And then when you do whack him with a hammer, because the shield's gone down, you kill him in two hits instead of having to wait four or five times for this thing. Like this, this saga goes on. There's more around here, right? There are not. Porculator, no? Porculator in sky. Stuck, stuck in ceiling. Push button. Run the fuck away. There's even more of these bastards. Screw it and use Wraith Verge. This is what you've driven me to. And, like, there's literally no point in using green mana unless it's going to be rainforest. We can't do anything substantial with um, our, our Firestorm because everything just puts the shield up and you can't hurt it. This being said, we do have... Ooh, bad timing. We do have Craters of Might. If they would fight each other, that would be swipe. You know, there's so many things that could be done here. And obviously, uh, picking the Cleric was a risk. <laughs> I didn't realise that at the time, 
hangouts, seriously. Shush. Uh, excuse me a second. They're not rocks, ticks. Um, oh yeah, Etins, that's exactly what I need. I mean, nowadays we would have ways around this, and I was told after I started playing that the Clary's probably one of the hardest characters to play as, and that seems fair. But the reason it's one of the hardest characters to play as is it's weak as all shit. And um, it's just extremely frustrating as well, beyond all that. So I'm just going to do this again because I don't care. Just hit it! I have actually got a melee weapon. Let's do this. There we go. Every attack the cleric has is a weak source. Uh, that actually killed it. What? Right, I know what happens. So now we go... These things are... Oh my god. Where are you? Um... Please. Press this button, which tells us... The order of events. I can't even use melee on those because they shoot you, which is annoying. Um, yeah, that's one of the poor player. But let's use them. Attack with it. How do I pull player? There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. I can stop this ambassador. Oh my god, it gets many of them. The pork layer might actually be the way you deal with the cleric. <laughs> I, it doesn't work on bosses, I know that for a fact. Look at this shit. Screw you all. Could have hit him. Probably could have squished him, I'm not sure. Wow, that was actually so much easier. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I mean, we've got so many things that could help us out, but... Right, that was three portal players that we got to This is really cool. Right, you can see how... What? You lied to me. That's interesting. Did you notice how it stuck across the edge? Look at that. Ooh, that might be to do with the modern engine. I don't know. Let's press it again. See how it sticks out, but doesn't have a problem with it? Star, moon, moon. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm pleased with that. It's good to see. Not that way. This way. Now we can move these. Star. Not that moon, this moon. Was that a ceiling coming in? No. That would have been cool. You can see how the level design of this level is so much different from the level design of the previous one. Oh, it's the fighter. Again, we use Wraith Verge. We save it because I've just done all that. And I'm not doing all that again. Oops, crap out of you. Okay. So apparently you're attacking it, but it's not alive yet. Guessing that what we were seeing is these. Right, get your uh, get your quartz flask out. What we're seeing there is the various can. Look, it's very frustrating that you have to use your uh, that the click that you use to respawn also causes you to fire. Basically, I didn't have my quartz flask is available, so I was pressing Q and it won't do shit. We have now got the glaive seal, which is basically. Quietus, the fighter's last weapon, which is what he was attacking us with, which hurt. I assume that that's what the mage's final weapon looks like as well, but I've never seen it in real life. I've never played that character that much, so uh, I don't actually know. Uh, we still want Wraith Verge because we've still got these bastards out here to deal with. Now, somewhere in amongst all this crap is going to be... Final tomb, but I don't know where it is off the top of my head. And, oh, here we go. Where is part from the inside? It's not that bad. Wait, that was the first place we went to. That was open before. Does that mean I can't go back? <laughs> Probably gonna get some comments about that. Well, it must be in here then. Come here. Said. I remember this bit. I remember there's a big elevator. Scene. Yeah, 
kind of want these things to go away. Like, they're so weak, Source. Unless you're using that crappy weapon which everyone hates. Oh, hello. Gotcha. Gotcha. The uh, Firestorm. Unless you're using Firestorm, these things are weak as all heck. Alright, good. I'm gonna get my flechettes out because I'm quite concerned. This is a big elevator. And, uh, in games, they sort of abstract away the idea of using something. By which I mean... Oh, maybe it's not. Um, oh, yeah, this is it. Um, basically, you press E. <laughs> and the thing gets to you, so it's not as big of a problem. But if you think about the mechanics of that, I'm going, wait. You're saying I pressed, I pressed E. And then somehow my character was able to activate this metal wall, cause the lift to descend, without any sort of prior instruction. How many lifts were like that? Come on. Also, seriously, what? More Wraith Verge, I think. Okay, guess we won't use Wraith Verge. Uh, I suppose we'll run in and do our best. So, kill them before they kill us, right? Kill or be killed, it's doggy dog food world out here. Ow. So you've got your quartz flasks on, you don't want to end up putting a flechette down, trying to get some HP, and then walking into a poison cloud of your own making. Ah, man. And some HP that I don't have to spend my hard earned stuff on. Great. Uh, there's bound to be one around the corner, yep. Game otherwise. This game has surprised me a few times in not doing things, and that was not one of them, but I guess that just is more strings for my obviously there were interns involved here, both, right? Um, some levels have a great amount of detail and some really nuanced puzzles and things like that, and some games are, some games, some levels are just oh shit. Right, that makes that go down, as anticipated. We'll zone, so we'll save it anyway. Uh, and I think we'll do this one, even though the music's pretty cool, in the next episode. So thank you for watching this one. I look forward to any feedback that you have, and I look forward to any likes and shares that you want to do for the video. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.